We have 14 that end in an A. That should be La, but they're L. El clima, we're familiar with this already, the weather, the climate. El idioma, el sistema, el problema, el programa, el panorama, and el mapa. You can see most of these are cognates, so it's really helpful. Climate. Idiom, idioma is language, like Spanish is uh, an example of an idioma. You speak the idioma of Inglés or idioma of Español. System, problem, program, panorama, and map. Common, you use them all the time. Establish for yourself that these are excepciones to the género. El poema, el poeta, el drama, el tema, el área, el alma, and el agua. Also cognates poem, poet, drama, theme, area. Alma is soul, and agua is water. Common word, most of us know what that means. I want to point out to you sistema, problema, and programa. When my students are writing, these are typically the three that they make the mistakes on most. Especially problema, right? We often talk about problems in society, and we write essays on the different conflicts and stuff that are happening both in the U.S. and around the Spanish-speaking world. And many students will say la problema. It's not. It's el problema. And in English, we'll often say, hey, no problemo. Well, that's not correct either. It's no problema. I also want to point out to you these last three. These are a little bit different. These are still actually feminine words, aria, alma, and agua. But the rule here is, if a word starts with an A, and that A is accented, aria, alma, agua, you cannot say la in front. You have to say el. It should be la. There's still feminine words, those three, because of the a at the end, but the reason why L is in front is because the first letter begins with an A and it's accented. You can't say la aria because the la would just blend into itself. La aria, la alma, la agua. So they have to differentiate the the from the word. So it's el aria, el alma, el agua. I want to show you this example too. Most of these words, if you say uh, tema, it's masculine, even though it has an A at the end, so it's going to be el tema estupido, for example, the stupid theme. These last three, however, are still feminine, so it's el área amplia, the ample area, the wide space. El alma buena, the good soul. El agua fría, the cold water. So these are still going to have a, the adjective is going to have an A at the end, whereas in like theme would be el tema estupido, or el drama Tonto, or El Drama Bueno. That's our lesson for today. What I do want to do is run through both lists one more time for the sake of pronunciation. I will pronounce each word as we see them on the screen, and that'll be it for this lesson. El Clima, El Idioma, El Sistema, El Problema, El Programa, El panorama, el mapa, el poema, el poeta, el drama, el tema, el área, el alma, el agua. I want to point out to you the word tema. It's not tema, it's a strong Tea. It's a really soft T. It's an unaspirated T. No breath really comes out of your mouth when you say tema. It's just the, the tema. So el tema. It's a really soft T. It's really suave, really soft tema. And same with poeta. It's not T. It's poeta. The T is much softer in Spanish than it's going to be in English. El poeta. El tema. Let's look at the next list. La radio. La foto, la mano, la razón, la crisis, la dosis, la tesis, la síntesis, la piel, la imagen, la ley, la salud, la labor, La mitad, 
la cárcel, la pared, la paz, en la luz. In Spain, those last two words would be pronounced luz and paz because the Z and the C in Spain are pronounced like a TH. Luz and paz. Light and peace. And with that, we finish off our lesson. Gender exceptions.